Hey guys, and welcome to the last day of our journal challenge. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Vianum Tandazo and welcome to the Mentorship Corner. Please click on the subscribe button down below so that you'll be part of the Mentorship Corner family. And don't forget to like, share, and obviously comment on the comment section, oh gosh, comment section down below so that we can get to know you a little bit better. On today's video, we are doing a very quick one. We are just discussing bucket lists, drum roll. So we're just discussing bucket lists, why they're important and why you should do one twenty three. 3 So first of all, what are bucket lists? In simple terms, it's just imagine that you are throwing, let's say, small balls into a bucket once you've achieved whatever you have achieved. So basically, that's about it. You write down things that you want to have done by the end of the year. It could be an adventure, it could be um, a book you want to buy, it could be a book you want to read, it could be, I don't know, changing your wardrobe or whatever the case may be, you write it down and then you make sure that you work towards that and then tick it off once you have achieved it. The reason why I've got a bucket list and goals for the year is because even though they sound like they're the same, but they're not really the same. Your goals is things that you have to work on. It's things that will help you to grow and become a better person. Your bucket list could be something that you're just doing for fun. It could be something that you, like a stupid thing that you could be doing just to get down or with a great out of your system. It is totally up to you. So go and write down those bucket lists for 2023. Um, why it's important to write down bucket lists? I think it's important to get things out of your system in a sense. Um, and it's also important to push you to try out new things or different things, maybe out of your comfort zone to actually figure out if it's something you would like to tap into or not. For example, if you feel like you like traveling but you're not sure, you can make it a bucket list to say, okay, fine, this year I actually want to explore a different area and see if I like this whole traveling situation. If you don't, then you know, okay, fine, I'm not going to waste my time and put a goal, a travel goal because it's not going to work in something that I've want personally but you've explored you've tried it out and it didn't work for you and that is totally fine so that's basically it so this week we had a five day journal challenge where i was helping you guys sort out the first five days five pages saying it's five days first five pages of your 2023 journal from the mentorship corner we are on basically the last day and thank you for sticking it out through to the last day i love you guys absolutely a lot if you haven't gotten the journal as yet please click on the whatsapp catalog link down below to be able to place an order for your journal to those who have thank you for supporting us thank you for always um popping by and ensuring that we are growing as a channel so don't forget to subscribe to like to share and to comment i will see you guys on sunday for the master class the vision board master class because i'm not having a video on sunday we are having an event so if you haven't already go and purchase your event tickets so that you'll be able to join us on sunday i love you guys it is goodbye from me